What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about housing and ESO and how a lot of people feel that the houses we've received over the last year or so have been way too big to really decorate and really take advantage of all the space. Now I know not everyone out there is a housing fan, but I know a lot of people out there really enjoy housing. Some players that play the game really only ever do housing. They really don't do anything else. And that's what's great about ESO. There's a lot of things you can do within the game. But I will agree, some of these bigger houses that uh, we have had available over the last year, really this year in particular, have been way too big to decorate. Now there's an easy way to solve all this. The one thing I think we all want to see is more furniture slots, no matter if you're an ESO uh, Plus subscriber or not. I think it needs to be bumped up a lot. I think if you're a ESO Plus member, you probably should get around 1,500 to maybe 2,000 slots. I think 2,000 would be great. Uh, and I think if you're a non-member, you should at least still get a thousand for these bigger houses because you really cannot decorate a house with 700 pieces of furnishings uh, when they're the size that they are. And most people now have to go in and block a lot of the home off with walls and things to be able to decorate and make the house actually look right. Uh, and in my opinion, that's just kind of it's kind of pointless to buy a house, especially if you're buying it with crowns and you know, you're buying it with real money to have to block it off because you can't really decorate it because it's too large. So if you're having to block off areas of the home to make other parts of the home look more full or whatever the case may be, it's just kind of pointless to me to be buying any house with crowns nowadays. And I think, like I said, the easy fix is adding more furniture slots. I'm not sure if they will do that, but I feel like they should either add more furniture slots or kind of, start making the house sizes a little bit smaller. To me, some of the more medium style homes in the game are easier to decorate. Uh, of course, there's still a, a, a problem there with inventory, so you can't add, but there's so much furniture in those smaller homes, you know, you don't get that 700 option there. And I think the smaller homes probably should have the set, the smaller and medium homes probably should be seven or 800, you know, pieces of furniture. That way you can make those look better. But I've seen most homes out there that I have seen anyway that have been smaller to the medium or smaller to a medium size look a lot better when they're decorated, considering you do not have to have so much space. And that's the one problem with all these new big houses we get. The space is so large, it's really hard to ever make it look like what most people want, you know, like a livable space, like a kind of a living environment with inside their home because they have to gap everything out so much. Or they have to really work on one place or two to make those look really, really nice. And then everything else is kind of empty because you're pretty much out of furniture slots within that home. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Would you like to see, of course, an increase? And I think most people's answer is going to be yes. Would you like to see an increase in furnishings? Or would you like to see Zosh just kind of give us an increase in furnishings? Or at least increase the amount of furnishings we can have in these smaller to medium-sized houses? What do you think would be the best option? I know a lot of people don't like these really big houses because I don't know if 2,000 furniture slots would even be enough for some of them because they're so massive and have such big open areas. But I'm really curious what you guys think about it. If you are a person in ESO that really enjoys housing, I'd like to hear your thoughts and a comment down below. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.